Now we're going to talk about the important role leaves play, and it is another nonfiction story by the same author, Vijaya Bodak. Leaves. Plants need leaves. Leaves grow from the stems of the plants. Most leaves are green. Leaves make food for the whole plant. They use water, air, and sunlight to make the food. That's called photosynthesis. Can you say that with me? Photosynthesis. That's what we do when leaves turn water, air, and sunlight into food. Now the veins inside the leaves bring the food to the stem. And the stem, like we learned earlier, carries the food to the rest of the plant. Leaves give off oxygen. Hmm, that's the air we breathe. And when they make food, we breathe oxygen. Can you take a deep breath with me? <sighs> There's all kinds of leaves. Did you know that thin pine tree leaves look like needles? And they stay green all year long. Broad maple leaves turn orange and yellow in the autumn, which is another word for fall. And they fall off the tree and new leaves grow in the springtime. Eating leaves. Lettuce leaves make a tasty salad. Each head of lettuce has layers of leaves. Mm, that looks yummy. Giraffes eat only leaves. They spend most of the day biting leaves off the treetops. That's why their necks are so long, so they can reach the top of the trees. Wonderful leaves. Broad or narrow, soft or fuzzy, leaves help plants stay alive by making food for the rest of the plant. Ooh, here's the parts of a maple tree. There's the maple tree leaf or seed. It's kind of, we used to call them helicopters and we throw them up and watch them fall down. And then eventually a stem starts to grow and get bigger and bigger until it turns into a giant tree with the stem and all the beautiful leaves. And that's how our parts of a plant work together. Nice job, friends. Now remember, each part of our plant has a special job to do. Can you label the different parts of our plants? Over here, we have parts of our flower. The bottom is the roots, which take up the nutrients, and then the stem that acts like a straw to bring all the nutrients up the plant and down, and the leaves that turn the air, the sunlight, and um, all the, the nutrients into food for the plant. That's called photosynthesis. And over here, we have the petals of our flower. And in the center, we have pollen. And oftentimes, this is where our seeds grow. And a new life begins. Thanks for learning about the parts of the flower with us.